Do you want your lips to look from this to this? Then please watch this video to the end. Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Desa Herbal Soap Skincare and Lifestyle. Today I want to teach you how to make a permanent pink lip gloss. A permanent pink lip gloss. The way it's made is very simple and very nice. This will give you pink lips in about a week or two. Not the one that you just rub and the lips look pink and then after some time it disappears. No. This one is the type that the lips remain permanently pink, giving you a very beautiful shine. Okay, so we start. You can use any lip gloss that you want. It must not be pink color, it must not be this type, it, must, it can be green, it can be white, okay? Empty your lip gloss completely into a clean bowl. This lip gloss contains 15 grams, that's what is written on the packaging. When I squeezed it out, I got about 10 grams of lip gloss out. Make sure you squeeze everything. If the color intensity of the lip gloss is not okay for you, you can actually add in micas or natural food coloring or even yes or food coloring to it to deepen the color. But the color is not what will give you the lip gloss, uh, the, the, the pink lips. What will give you the pink lips is the ingredient you use inside. So now 10 grams. we have measured out our 10 grams of lip gloss. Now we are going to put in the next ingredient which is our propylene glycol and we all know the importance of propylene glycol it will make our formulation smooth and also aid in these ingredients into getting penetrating into the leaf. The next ingredient we'll be using is our bitter hydroxyl alcohol. Those of you that have been following me on my channel watched where I made this bitter hydroxyl alcohol. This has salicylic acid in it, it has lactic acid, it has malic acid, it has glycolic acid. So there are four acids in here. I put in only a small drop. I didn't weigh this but it should not be less than one gram. Just enough to cause mild exfoliation on the lips. So mild you will not even notice it. Then I'm putting in my essential oil and I'm using lavender essential oil. This is, you know, lavender oil has soothing and healing effects. These are lips. We don't want them chapped. We want them looking smooth and healthy. We want them looking kissable, okay? <laughs> so, I just put in three drops. Then this is our Temprovit. Our Temprovit gel. I'm using two grams. And these two grams is about 10% of our total recipe. The ten, these two grams should be enough to cause lightning on the lips. And when you're applying this lip gloss, apply it directly on the lips. Don't apply it and allow it extend to the area outside the lips so that you don't end up with a mouth with the so that the area don't end up getting toned as well especially if you know you're not going to tone your face okay so you apply directly on the lips and i can show you this will definitely lighten up your lips you can use it for about three months or so when you're through when you get the desired color you want you stop using it for some time this doesn't mean that you use it for too long no because of the temporal fit we are using in and then after mixing you put in your preservative because of because the amount i'm using is too small even a drop of preservative would be too much for it so i'm using my new syringe that i just opened i'll just fetch a tiny amount and put just enough just enough not even up to a drop as of my preservative and i'm using gamma plus preservative so you mix it thoroughly make sure you mix it well okay when you mix it you now transfer it back into the container 
this lip gloss is easy to, this lip gloss is easy to make the ingredients can be found anywhere around you it's not the one that you have to walk up and down looking for difficult ingredients no these ingredients are simple and easy to find you can easily make this at home Please, at this point, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please, I'm begging you, do subscribe. That is all I ask of you. That is all I ask of you. Here's okay? the trick to filling this kind of containers. If you try to push it in directly like this, it will push back out. Not all will go in and you keep on trying and trying and wasting your time. So this is the trick. You use the mouth of the syringe to clear it out. So that the passage is clear so that air will be able to pass if air is able to pass it to be able to go in so now when you want to push it in you don't just push it in directly you first squeeze the little air out you can see the way i'm pressing it and holding i'm squeezing the air out okay after i've squeezed most of the air out but not enough for my lip gloss to start coming out i now put in the mouth of my and a syringe as i'm pushing in i'm releasing as i'm pushing in i'm releasing i'm releasing i'm releasing you see i'm releasing gradually you see it didn't push out at the end of the day the suction the suction force by releasing the container is what will push in your lip gloss inside the container but if you don't do that it will end up coming back out again so this is a trick on how to fill this kind of container. So I'll do it again. Push air out. Put in. Pull in. Push in and release. You see? Easy peasy. After you've put it in, you can cap back your lip gloss. That's it. You want to use, just open up. Just open up a little bit